Good morning, and if for those of you, also good afternoon. I just know we have a few UK people that's over the pond, so it's actually good afternoon or more like good evening to you as well. Good morning slash evening afternoon. Welcome to day three. Just a about you have your title, you have your artwork, or your just on the brink of finishing it and getting out there so you can publish that when it's ready to go. You have all that ready to go. Now, putting together a package, this is what today is all about. And getting your podcast out there so people can start finding and listening to you because you all have great conversations that all need to be heard, that all get to, that all get to be heard you all deserve the audience the reach and f- frankly like what i can say to start first of all is share 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 the link share with your friends that's some that's the best <clears throat> you take the joe rogan experience the goat i'm, I'm always going back to that goat podcast he just started with with up in his garage on Ustream, Ustream with his friends, shared with his friends. And there was a discussion. Now look at him today. He's today he's getting millions of downloads and listens and views. There's video on pod on Spotify too. He he they do upload video of their two, three, sometimes four hour length podcast that he that his conversations. He just talked with jordan peterson after after his recovery from his latest drug edition i I was watching most of that it was four hours long (sighs) think about it four hours long and still people listen to that all of it so don't think just if you go long-winded people will listen if you do do those things people people will listen to that but it's all about getting your podcast out and sharing and adding move all these I'm got kind of getting a late start today but we're uh we're getting started here a little late but I'm clearing out all my stuff from yesterday, and I can just keep that. We can day three. It's all about finding your audience. Hopefully, that's spelling and as I'm typing this up live, real time, real quick. Find your audience. Let's let that ticker roll real quick. So let's jump right into it. What comment and right here on this post today, right before we get started, what's your title? What's your logo that you, if maybe it's not, perfected yet maybe it's not done yet share what you have here what what progress are you on with your titles with your logos with your and tap i see you how are you doing you you have a a goal to complete your title and have and have your logo ready too because your title is part of your logo your your goal is to have all that ready by noon on friday and just just a reminder list live view comments show up on screen please click the link in the group post to allow permissions for Streamyard. i use Streamyard. it says in the corner power by Streamyard to uh, to this allows permissions for Streamyard to see your name streamyard.com forward slash facebook so do that and and i can then do Yes, Tabitha, 
the real healing I picked after serving my peeps on Facebook. Is that complete, Tabitha? Are you complete with that? If you are, then you're early and great job. And thank you, Lee, for coming back live. He's hashtag live. Oh, that was me just trying to find myself this morning. <laughs> Vulnerable post here. <laughs> yes, I am Tabitha. Yes. All right, let's. We're all ready for day three, and we're going to go over some basic audience finding tips. And there is, I, I wanted to have him maybe come on this live for a short minute and introduce himself, but looks like I haven't been, he hadn't been, maybe something else came up. But anyway, he is in this challenge. He is in this group. His name is Daniel Hanfling. He has a, a big group. Oh, but now the logo. I see you, Tab. have been looking over many to get clear on what it should look like. <clears throat> Daniel Hanfling, he has this one group all about local food, restaurants, local restaurants. He's out in the Seattle, Washington area. And it starts there. And he has that group. That's that's huge. He's, he's kind of, in the last year, kind of taken off. He started this other group, Successful... I'm going to butcher the successful mindset. I can look it up real quick. Always better to look it up. That's what Joe Rogan does, right? Like he's curious, but he also knows when to research. And that's what people like about him. I think the most because he wants to get it right. He knows he's wrong. He wants to get it right. And but I'm going to look up. Just real quick, just a quick successful mindset masters, and I can show it to you here. That's it right there. This group, and I, I'm joined in it. I can invite you, but like, just look up successful mind. It's it's private, but. Successful mindset masters. And just a little description, community for entrepreneurs to connect and build each each, each other up. As much as this group and I have my other group that I'm I'm always sharing. I just shared like a video hack in my other producers group yesterday when I was trying to edit these live streams. While just connect and build each other up while discovering new strategies to level up in both life and in business. This group is brought to you by Dano Hanfling, who wants to see his community grow together, make a greater impact, and make more money online. Success Mindset Masters is here to make small business owners that aren't scrapping by, but absolutely thriving mindset strategies digital blueprints exclusive trainings mentor brand coaching all <clears throat> all that if you you join in this he's he's rocking it off with that rock rocketing this last year with that just a little shout out to there even though he couldn't come on but he is in the group find him he is the expert with when all when it comes to all this but we're gonna what today is included in finding your audience. But I have a few things that I can go over to get started. I saw that comment already, I think, but now to the logo. Looking over many. So I have to, I stop and read comments as I, <laughs> before I, it's better to see it this way. All right. So let's get back to here. I just found this. I did search ways to grow podcast audience. And I'm looking to do that myself for my show as well. And I can take some of these tips. And this is by Sweetfish. And they <clears throat> they have courses. They have, they have their shows. 
but they offer some tips. Everyone wants to grow their podcast listenership, but few actually know how to do it. I'll admit, I, and this is not me speaking, this is whoever created this website. I'll admit, I, it took the Sweetfish team to a few experiments in solidarity, our podcast growth strategy, but now we're, we've got it down to a T. We've seen it work wonders for the shows our team produces, like this flagship podcast. There's no reason it can't work for you. You see, 14-step audience growth strategy is what we use to answer. And if if you're doing some of these great, be strategic with your show name. What what does your show name start? Because uh, again, your show show name <clears throat> that that's gonna tell all, everything. Some cases it, it might even read off to the, the to the closed caption and hearing impaired. It might read off, and how is it gonna sound to those who who only can hear things? I mean, I'm going to read off one thing. But like, how's how's your title gonna look? Number two, plan out your content. Have a few guests book. Maybe have a soft launch for a half a year, a year, depending on like. And have a soft launch where you just get together with your guests, record, put them out, build them out, and then you launch once you have a few guests up. Plan your content know what you're going to talk about with each of your guests talk talk about the questions you'll be asking so they also have input in your discussion that you're going to have together because it's a conversation remember it's a conversation prepare a launch promotion plan So have a plan of how you're going to launch, like how are you going to package your episodes on a website, on wherever it's going to be. And l- after this challenge, and we have still two days left of this as well, I will actually be putting together a workshop on actually getting your launch out there and just getting it and and uploading how you how i up i'll show you in that workshop after this how i get my podcast out using soundcloud to spotify to apple podcast to google podcast to amazon podcast to i don't know how i did it but it ended up there but i'm also on iHeartRadio, so i i'm not not exactly sure how but doing doing all that i'm I'm sure it'll be included somehow somehow iheart radio is taking my feed from somewhere else so i'm out on iheart radio i'm i'm going to show you in that workshop among a few other things how to get your stuff ready so you can upload and it can be distributed to all platforms but moving on like this, uh, we step prepare. Step three is prepare a launch plan. Step four, set up cross promotions with other podcasts in your space. Get on other shows. Talk with other podcasters. That's also maybe they have a bigger audience and they'll be interested in listening to you. Get on other shows. Be be always working. And your podcasters are your friends, your teams. Get on the shows. That's that's a big way of building up your reach, and they're gonna boost you up, promote you up when they when they have you on and, and talk about what you're doing. Next thing, pay to promote your show on popular podcasts in your space. I just said that, but in a way, yeah, get up, get on guests, get be a guest, not just an interview. It's it's another thing too about being a guest when you're being asked questions on my friend's podcast, My Stuttering Life. I definitely get to be on more podcasts as well. But B 
being a guest, being interviewed helps helps you process your thoughts and 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 just helps the learning process even better than you just asking the questions and now you're as and you're answering questions being asked to you and it's it puts you on the other side and it puts you so you get the feel of being a guest and everything set up a podcast tour for the host of your show Don't sleep on SEO. Let's go back to the set up a podcast tour for the host of your show. What? Well, let's see what they have. When they, getting the host of your show scheduled as a guest on other podcasts. Oh, they, they, they I never heard it put that way before. Okay, that's other podcasts can boost the size of your audience. I, I just kind of said this. Being a guest on the right podcast will increase your show's exposure to people already listening to similar shows so let's go on back uh, to the top here so podcast or don't sleep on seo tags titles that's all important crush it on linkedin i know lee tevy is on Highly, heavily used on LinkedIn. Crush it on LinkedIn. Connect with potential guests. Get to know former guests better. Learn about new insights. Connect with other podcasters. Grow your podcast audience. Share your knowledge with your network. All the, all about being on LinkedIn, too. Share your knowledge. Share your value. What I'm doing here today in this challenge and this workshop do not, and this is a tip that actually Daniel gave me. Just and he keeps he keeps telling me and reminding me too. Don't. What's what was the word he used? He was don't don't cut back. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. Don't come back. Don't cut back on giving value. Don't like. Be, talk about this and in, in my workshop on and that's coming up next it's it, don't cut back on giving value always share your knowledge with your network what you know what you just found out and if you go into me out my other group i shared a, a useful act i actually discovered two years ago and i forgot it i forgot where to go I, how to get the url well it's up there in that group now if you're interested to seeing that it's up there in that group Always give value. Always be value. Get the industry questions answered by experts. That's what I'm doing too. Uncover new business opportunities. So that's what they mean by don't sleep on or crush it on LinkedIn. SEO is, is web title, metadata, descriptions, tags, keywords. Remember, I, when you go when someone goes to Google.com, and I'm going to take the real healing. Healing. When someone types healing, that's keywords. That's Google keywords. That's healing scriptures, hands, ministry crystals, hands. Real. Real healing. And just do, just go to Google and type, type your title in. And yes, Lee, Tebby, I, I'm always here to boost definitely a lot of connect, connections on LinkedIn, promote their podcast appearances and episodes on LinkedIn and Clubhouse. Thank you, Lee, for showing back up here live today. But the keywords, Google keywords, just do it quick type. This is actual people searches this is what people are looking for so seo crush it on linkedin repurpose episodes into micro videos this is where me being a, a video editor and I, i'm and it's not hard as you watch that video facebook actually makes it easy to do this as well 
you have an hour or two hour long podcast, you have at least 10 to 20 other pieces of content that you can be uploading from that same episode to promote your show. You, you can have them clips in five minutes, 10 minute clips. If, if, if your podcast goes for two hours or an hour, you can get like 10 clips out of that micro content. Cut up your podcast. It gives you much more content as well to use on all these platforms to promote your guests. So anytime, any chance you get to promote your show, you promote your episode, promote your guests, lift be, lift the guest up. So that's a great idea right there. Cut up your show. Chop it up. Put your show on the chopping block. Put the full version out along with the chopped up clips. Repurpose episodes into slide decks, carousels, playlists. Make playlists and and uh, put put your show into categories and playlists. Where do you put these those clips? I have some good audio, but didn't know what to do with it. Make reels. It it all depends where you want to do do with it. You can upload them to the same place. You can upload them to YouTube, Facebook Watch. You can you can have an exclusive spot just for them just to, to share clips with your friends, family, to share clips with future guests, to share, to market them, to put them, boost them with a Facebook ad and put them out to a target audience. Share them on LinkedIn, share them on Instagram TV, share them on TikTok. You, you, you get them, share them. It's, it's another way to share your podcast in short form version. And just, a, it's just a clip and like, this is what we talk about. It, this is, it's, it's another way to market your show. Thanks for the question, Tabitha. Thank you again, Lee and Tabitha, for coming on live. Do you share just audio files? You can. There's there's stuff you can just do with audio. You can. There's. I mean, um, audio. There's an audiogram website. I keep audiogram that you can you can actually if you have just audio. See if it comes up real quick. Turn audio into engaging social video. So there's these sites that you can use if you just have audio and something like that. It has words on the screen and it has like an audio bar or something like that too. You just have audio and you can turn audio into video. Audiogram. It's called an audiogram. <clears throat> so yeah, it's you, you can use a website or you can you can you can Canva, you can make a video in Canva with with the audio, you can upload the audio to Canva and you can just make like like a slideshow, simple slideshow in Canva that's that has the audio playing in the background and that can that's a video. So if you just do audio and you can create video because video does push push out a lot better on platform. No problem. Thanks. Yeah, no problem at all. Like that's great question. Great. So that's <clears throat> so audiogram is is another way for making micro content if you just have audio turning your audio into video repurpose episodes into micro videos step 10 repurpose episodes into slide decks 11 just, i'm recapping a little bit step 11 use the second biggest search engine youtube i mentioned youtube you, you can upload all those clips to youtube it's kind of a giveaway, but I, I'm saying anything. What is the top two 
search engines today. If you can spot them in the comments, what is the top two search engines today? If I mean, don't comment, and I'll just say it if you. Well, I'll tell you. Yeah, Google and YouTube. Yeah, Google and YouTube. Google now owns YouTube, and yet Google's number one, YouTube is number two. How did that happen? So when you go, I I just was going to Google. But, like, do the same thing on YouTube. Do the same thing on YouTube when you explore and, like, real healing. This is what people are like looking up and searching for on YouTube. This is the uh, same thing doing on Google. You do it on YouTube as well. And upload those clips, upload those audiograms to YouTube, and then share them out. In Jesus' name, power, crystal, bedstone, um, real, real healing. So Jesus comes up when you type healing. Bracelets, crystals, there's, there's props, there's potions, there's stories. Real healing stories. Come to my show and talk about the real healing stories. <laughs> Because my show is retitled, renamed Storytime, Keeping It Real with Sweet Tea. <laughs> but yeah, just to plug my title there for a minute. Uh, Crush on LinkedIn, repurpose episode, my, uh, repurpose episodes on slide decks. Biggest search engine is YouTube, Google. Produce funny videos to promote your show. Are you a comedian? Are you an entertainer? Are you like, or maybe you don't have to be necessary either, but maybe it's just entertaining. Like have like what you're doing in a day to day and record yourself and create a, a video blog or a vlog or a video diary, video journal, journal and publish, publish that like to show what what you're doing to to be more interesting I, but one thing when that comes up i behind the scenes would guess good idea or bloopers and outtakes yes great ideas great ideas but when i i just said interesting you want to be interesting right one quote I always love, and I'm typing up here. Takes me a second to type it up. Forgive the spelling if it's wrong. I mentioned interesting to be interesting. You got to be interested. Quote by Dale Carnegie. I always love that quote. It's in my emails. It's it's a quote I usually like to sharing and everything. So be interested. Listen. Active listening. And take interest in what you're hearing, what you're talking about, what you're doing. Take interest in, in, take interest with, with what other people are doing. So that's that's the number one way to be interesting, to be engaging, to be entertaining. Uh, produce funny videos to promote yourself. Step twelve, step thirteen. Level leverage your team's email signatures. I just mentioned email signatures. I'm I'm like a step ahead of these guys. Leverage your team's email signatures, and get creative with email. Email is probably can be your highest, and not everyone does read emails, but it's probably be your highest 
reach of audio get get on mailing list get get emails together get a mailing list together and start like sending weekly newsletters or what's up like get people engaged in email it's it's still yeah it's a lot it, it goes to junk a lot or people still don't maybe read or reply to email but it's still better than trying to play around with the algorithms of social media email is still text get these there's these text communities as well that that you can start sharing and talking up your show today to get the word out about your show and the best thing of all and it's not really even mentioned but how doing all this what it really creates and this is the biggest marketing thing of all and it's really like you can control it but you can't control it it's it goes both ways word of mouth going back to uh, gary Vee, like he didn't do it's it's all word of mouth like it's it's all people talking about word of mouth share it with someone else they're gonna like it they're gonna tell it and talk it up talk to them about it with their friends and then those friends are going to do that there's no algorithm on that there's no algorithm stopping that word to spread it's just up here and your friends up with you to your friends to their friends and to their friends and so on there's no algorithm to stop that ideal listener hangs out my experience and i'm a beginner in this too with as far as finding audience i'm still up there and growing out so i can also learn from the best as well but my best experience is linkedin or clubhouse lee you said it best put your question up there i've so far in my early day of, of actually you know, I, I helped launch this challenge with the linkedin and a little bit like instagram too instagram is my favorite place of hangout but linkedin clubhouse going on there and just talking and again being value showing value you know something someone else knows don't hold back be value but that's that's what i have today like that the simple tip that i wanted to use a, another expert about audience and that's what i have today if there's any questions go back to this group here and I'll show real quick, keeping it real, where I, where I shared my latest video hack. I'll show that real quick to you. Keeping it real. That's my, that's the page. I have, it's that my page is in here as well, but keeping it real producers is the group. And there's the, if you if you stream from your personal profile into a group like like i am doing right now this instance and then i'm gonna have to trim this later on so i'll do this step later on when i get to it just like i'm doing this week you may or may not know this incredibly useful video hack go there today <sighs> keeping it real producers so that's that's where I I share all my knowledge and share things I'm doing in here. I'm, I'm I started promoting this challenge in there as well. I did something a little for Postmas. This is where you can find me again. But that's that's my group. That's my group that I just share value with. And I'll get back to the five day podcast challenge. 
get back there. Any any other questions or anything before end the day and go share with your friends. Tackled all those questions. Any other thing? And today is all about getting your title set up, getting your image, and if it's not ready, that's that's fine. Talk about what you're going to be doing. Just talk about get share something about what you're what you are doing, what you're going to be doing. That's today. Let people know. Start the word of mouth spread today, because that has no is not controlled by an algorithm. Word of mouth. I'll leave it there today. Audience, find the audience. And till tomorrow, you can see all what the days are. They're all posted in the group. But tomorrow, yeah, go go spread the word. Spread the word about your show. And as always, if there's anything, reach out to me, messages. Instagram, you can always get me on Instagram. I might be on on the clubhouse app too but instagram is where you definitely can find message me or facebook and with that i will leave it there and i will see you tomorrow for day four